Oh, hey, Michael. How you doing? Fine. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. How's the work with the Diversity and Inclusion Council going these days? Well, I'm glad you asked. Well, Doug, we are going to be uh, going around the campus as inclusion champions and telling people about our diverse community wheels that we work in and also how we here at Cone are going to be addressing diversity in the workplace as it's in line with our Cone values. We're also going to be telling people about how here at Cone we're inclusive of everyone, our patients, our staff, and our community. This also falls in line with the values that we share here at Cone, caring for our patients, our staff, and our community. So you've learned about diversity and inclusion in 40 seconds. Imagine what else you'll learn in the next few minutes in this month's Code View. At the end of 2014, Cone Health Chief Executive Officer Tim Rice plans to retire. He turned 60 this year and has long planned on stepping down at that time. Rice says the Alamance Regional Medical Center merger, the Carolina's Healthcare System Management Services Agreement, and the conversion to electronic medical records, all now complete, make the timing perfect. Everybody keeps asking me what the next months look like. I keep finding things that I want to get done, and Terry keeps dumping things on me that he wants me to get done by year's end. So I don't think I'm going to be slowing down at all. Several chances for you to say goodbye to Rice will happen later this year. President and Chief Operating Officer Terry Aiken becomes the next Cone Health CEO January 1st. So quiet. I'm here. Hey, Welcome to the new centralized cardiac monitoring department. Monitor techs keep an eye on the vital signs of cardiac patients at the Moses H. Cone Memorial Hospital, Wesley Long Hospital, and Annie Penn Hospital from this room on the top floor of the Northwood Building. The system allows monitoring of patients in their rooms and even on their way to radiology or other places for tests. Nurses can quickly be notified of changes in patients via their mobile phones. Computers can even help predict a patient's future can let you know if their heart rate is going up at a certain speed to be able to watch out for this patient maybe getting ready to go into an irregular rhythm. So it does give you trended data that they can look at to prepare for something that may happen with a patient. Delaney worked on the centralized monitoring idea before becoming Vice President of Nursing and Patient Services at Alamance Regional Medical Center. She expects her new campus to be tied into this system next year. Hello Cone Health, it's Michelle Gillers clark The United Way can count on you. As one of the area's largest employers, local United Ways count on the generosity of Cone Health employees. And despite a sluggish economy, you came through to the tune of $485,000 in Guilford and Rockingham counties, $93,000 in Alamance. And employees have done a phenomenal job of really stepping up. I think we all need to kind of applaud our employees in a huge way, the fact that employees give their dollars personally to the campaign. It is something that they make a commitment to do. Adkins says there were 775 new givers in this campaign. It really was a fire that changed the way I thought about that cookbook. Um, in 1999, my family lost our home to a house fire. Barbara Smith and her family lost everything in that 1999 house fire. So when this Birthing Suites nurse at Women's Hospital won a golden ticket at the People's Excellence Celebration a couple of years ago, she awarded the $1,000 to Habitat for Humanity. But for her, the chance to pay it forward hasn't ended. She's created a cookbook and is giving half the proceeds to Habitat. Decided that it would be a way to keep that money going to produce the cookbook, tell the story of the fire, and let people know how they can help individuals that have gone through a tragedy. The recipes are family recipes. She had shared them with friends and after the fire, they gave them back. You can buy a copy of the book at polka.starflowers.com. That's it for this edition of Code View. I'm Doug Allred and we'll see you next time.